Hey you guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. Uh, will they come back? Uh, you can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for February 2022. We are going to take a look at the person that's currently on your mind. Uh, we're going to see what their overall energies are like, uh, how they're currently feeling towards you, their intentions towards you, and then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come back. Uh, you can apply this to your own unique situation. Feel free to switch the roles if you want. Uh, even though this is love focus, you can apply this to anyone in your life. Um, let's see what else. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Also keep in mind that this is a general collective reading for Virgo. Okay, I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies. Uh, if you're looking for, for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, to your own unique specific energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. Uh, the link for that is in the description box below. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, perfect. Let's get started. Tell me about the person that is on Virgo's mind. What are their current overall energies? How are they currently feeling towards Virgo? And um, what are their intentions for Virgo for February 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for February 2022. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, nope, that's too many. That's like almost like a third of the deck. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have here for you. Oh, I'm not doing this way. Yeah, I'm just going to pull the cards because I've been pulling the cards for this whole series. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Mm, whoever this person is, I feel like this person's plotting a return to take things from you. Whoever this is, okay? So, Virgo, you could have been really generous with this individual, and I feel like this person really took advantage of that. We have the Devil and the Lovers. This is interesting because in this deck, it's called Chains, okay? Or Chains here. So I feel like this is a very unhealthy connection that you have with this person here. An unhealthy relationship. Could be a situation where one person was extremely codependent on you, okay? Uh, so Devil uh, with the Devil, no Devil, uh, Capricorn Energy with the Devil card and Gemini Energy with the Lovers, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Whoever this person is, I feel like this person could be, you know, a bit emotionally abusive towards you, okay? Um, four of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. You're going to receive communication from this person, but I feel like this person is not really going to tell you truly what they want, but I feel like they're plotting to take things from you, okay? It doesn't have to be material things or money or anything like that. It also could be just like your energies, okay? This person might be feeding off your energy. This person might be an energy vampire or something like that. Uh, Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. You know, I feel like this person's gonna make it look like they want, you know, they want a second chance, they want a reconciliation, but I feel like this person has bigger plans here, okay? And not such great ones, I feel. Uh, Seven of Swords. And the High Priest, uh, this is the higher fit here, Taurus Energy. Um, <clears throat> you know, I feel like, so this is how it looks on my table. This person's gonna come in and say, hey, you know, let's get back together. I'm looking for commitment here. 
But this is going on behind the scenes here. Because on my table, if these two cards are in front and these two are in the back. Six of Pentacles and then Seven of Swords. So I feel like this person, like I said, is plotting. They're coming in plotting, trying to take something from you. So I feel like, you know, there's an energy that you've been tricked by this person before, and I feel like they're going to make an attempt at it again. They're going to try and trick you again. Uh, I could be dealing with... The... Okay, let's just go over the energies. Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You could also have those energies in your chart too, uh, Virgo. The Devil. You have the Two of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ten of Swords here. This is, this is not a this is not a very nice connection. I just feel like this is um, there's, there's a lot of confusion. Things are really unclear. You know, I feel like you know I do feel like this is going to end in disaster again. I do feel like you have a strong soul tie with this individual. I do feel like you have some sort of soul contract with this individual here too. Okay, so let's see. So just be careful with this individual, Virgo. Uh, will this person come back to Virgo? I do feel like this person's going to come back. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2022. Will this person come back to Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2022. All right, we're just going to behold them again. We have a chariot and temperance. And I feel like this person's going to rush back in peace. But like I said, I feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes that this person's not sharing with you. So Cancer Energy and Sagittarius Energy, the temperance. We have the Ten of Wands here and the Hermit. Uh, Virgo Energy. Virgo, you could be dealing with another Virgo here. You know, you could be in this energy of releasing this. You could be in this energy of just, you know, just feeling comfortable on your own, you know, doing your, uh, uh, isolating yourself, you know, introspecting, self-reflecting here, and just not really, you know, paying attention to this individual. We have the high priestess and justice. You know, Virgo, I feel like you're in this energy of, you know, kind of like thinking or acting from a higher self here because I feel like, you know, now you, ha you have the knowledge, okay? And I feel like you already know what this person is about. So I feel like there's an energy of learning your lessons here, okay? Tell me about chari the chariot. That's human. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? You have the seven of pentacles. Tell me about temperance. And the wheel of fortune. You know, I feel like this is not the first time that this person has come back. I feel like it's a bit of a pattern here. You know, I feel like this person comes back when they're struggling energetically or materially. Okay? I feel like this person only comes back when they need something from you. Ten of Wands. Oh. Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. I do feel like this person's going to come back. But I do feel like you're going to... You know, I feel like this person comes back to basically project a lot of their shit on you, I feel. You know, if you're, like, in peripheral communication with this individual, I feel like all this person complains about how terrible things are going in their life or something like that. Tell me about the Hermit. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is you. Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. Just sort of focused on you here. You know, focusing on your freedom. Enjoying your freedom here. Uh, the High Priestess. We have the Seven of Cups. Justice. And the Five of Cups here. Yeah, I just feel like you know better not to be tricked by this person again. Because I feel like, you know, you already know that this person's going to disappoint you. And I feel like with the sun on the bottom of the deck here, you just want to avoid the conflict and just, like, keep your peace and your happiness here with the sun. Leo energy. Okay? So, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.